you three. Yes, to you. It's a wonderful. Ambassadors, nonetheless. <laughs> Really? Yeah. yeah. Is that, is that, we are. Oh, Simon, you've been I'll never get to a knighthood. I think so. So, Simon, you're dressing like the ambassador tonight. Uh, John, you've got the Ferrero Rocher. I think this whole thing is Ferrero it's Rocher. It's very ambassadorial on the Perfect. sofa this evening. But isn't it brilliant, Niall, that the centerpiece to the whole day is happening here in this fantastic location? It's amazing. Uh, we played here a couple of years ago, and it's one of my favorite places ever to play. And Simon, you've not been here until today. No, this is my first time How here. How did you miss this? Well, I was saving it up for a, a, a time when I was coming and play a show here. <laughs> and, and that's and what we're doing. It's yeah. very, very a special. Segue. It's, that is a segue. Very good, <laughs> that's Simon. almost a segue. Very good. I never say so myself. It's very, um, the vibe I'm getting tonight, Al, it's very Chelsea Flower Show meets Glastonbury. Oh, it's very, perfect it's analogy. It's civilized. Yes, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not going to be, won't be for much longer though. Right? It won't when you guys get on stage, that's for sure. Uh, now, as you can hear in the background, uh, the voice of BBC Euro 2016 theme, uh, Izzy Bazoo is playing. There she is doing her stuff, getting the crowd going. You guys got together when? How long ago was it now? Um, we first wow. we got together in 1983. Three. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, had a, we, we were at a party in, in Melbourne and we heard this record and we, we made it play it again. <laughs> we met in New York, didn't we? We met backstage at a Blondie concert. That's right, right. you are right. We actually sure. met there. <laughs> Yeah, but the but he, he wanted to meet me because... Because I'd heard, I'd heard um, <laughs> In Excess's song, uh, Original Sin, right. which was produced by Niall. And that, we, that drove us crazy. We, we had to have that sound. And it was kind of a meeting of minds, wasn't it? Because at the end of the Blondie gig, is it right that you ended up playing a game of hide and seek? You were that in tune with each other. We, we had so much fun. We were running around. Um, we actually were very juvenile that night, yes. especially Andy. Andy was a little out of control. Oh, really? That's yeah. not like Andy at all. <laughs> I, I, I seem to think, remember, you took us to Studio 54. Yeah, that's right. That was our first time in Studio 54 uh, that night. So John, John when, I, when I said to John, um, I want to take you to studio. He thought I meant to the recording studio, but in fact, I meant Studio 54. I love the fact that it, I love the fact that it's Niall and John that are actually piecing this together, and Simon sitting in the middle going, "Did no, that yeah, happen? Yeah, well, yes, it did." I might, I might have been in a different place. I do remember. I do remember when you brought this this this, this very very charismatic young singer into our dressing room at the ah. at the garden, and yeah. she was chewing gum and flicking it around a finger. And it was Madonna. Yeah, no, that's, it was. Yes, it was actually. So, yeah. So, so, I mean, so after all of that, when did you guys start working together? Was it? It was the, the Reflex, wasn't it? Right away. Uh, yeah. yeah, but we didn't work together on the Reflex. Niall did that. You did that by yourself in New York. Didn't well, you? we didn't meet up. We weren't in the room together, but yeah. they had already. So, so what had happened is that, uh, y you know, the concept of remixes were just starting to get popular. Mm -hmm and they asked me to remix it and I told them that I didn't do re remixes. I said, but what I will do is I'll do it as if you had called me in the first place. So I just sort of re-visualized it and Flex, 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 flex. Boom, yeah. the rest yeah. is history, and here it is. Don't make them like that anymore. It's a classic. <laughs> but, <laughs> but is it actually true that, that the record company weren't actually fans of that at the start, um, Simon? It was a bit difficult to begin with. They, um, they, they, they didn't know quite how to tell us what they thought about it. So they kept using words like a bit too urban. <laughs> urban? Niall's having a laugh at this. What do they really mean? And then they finally said, it, uh, the record is too black. And uh, the band was like, we love this. This is how we want to sound. And um, I, I still remember getting a phone call from Nick, and he was a, a little bit, um, uh, he, he was sort of sad about it. He didn't really quite know how to explain it to me. And I got really angry. And I said, you know what, guys? I think the record's brilliant. You guys love it. Just put it out there, and let's see what happens. And look what happened. Yeah. The biggest single ever. Yeah. Amazing. But we know, Simon, that you have been playing music since a very young age. Now, our team of researchers have worked really hard this week. Oh, yes. And they managed... BBC researchers. Here we go. Responsible for a lot, actually. Oh, I'd yes. Like but you're going to love this because they managed to unearth this clip. Oh, no. Let's have a look. <laughs> Slow down, you're moving too fast. you got to make the morning last. Just <laughs> sitting down <laughs> with cobblestones. Looking for fun and feeling groovy. Honest looking oh. slightly shell shelter. Do you recognize your front man there? Yeah, I've seen stills from that before, but I've never seen the actual film. 
But he had, he had star potential. But right I'm wondering why he didn't go to those interesting harmony notes, because that's what's so great about, about Simon's style. He always goes to different notes that you, would, you wouldn't expect. So he just sang the regular song know, there. What was, happened? You no, know, I was just pleased that I was able to sing it in tune. Thank <laughs> oh, you very much. Okay, sorry. Well, I thought it was very nice, Simon, actually. Very, very nice, very nice. Um, okay. This one's for you. This one is and, for you. And while so we were watching that now, you were just saying how, how amazing he they just sounds. They just sound incredible. We, uh, we did a gig with them, and they were extraordinary. They sounded better than before. Uh, now, the Beach Boys, obviously, very obvious name. They love the beach. Duran Duran, slightly more, slightly more obscure. Um, <clears throat> we're, we're just music lovers, really, you know. We like the clubs. Yes. We well, like we... Clothes. But who were you named after? <laughs> Oh, we're the sci-fi villain from Barbarella, the man who invented the orgasmatron. It's this man here. There he is. There he is. Mr. Durand. Milo O'Shea. Yeah. But you know what? Names is a funny thing, isn't it? Because, you know, we were talking about Le Freak yes. earlier on. And Le Freak, without going into too much detail, wasn't called Le Freak to begin with. It's quite a convoluted story, really, how, yeah. how that song came yeah. about. So take <laughs> us back to that night, Niall, if you we, want. We were... Um, invited by Grace Jones to uh, see her show at Studio 54. It was 1977 going into 78. And we weren't, re we had never spoken to her, nor had we met her, but we just spoke to her that one time on the phone. And Grace has a very affected accent. So we thought that in rock and roll tradition that she was telling us how we should ask for her. So we knocked on the back door of Studio 54 and said, Hello, we are personal friends of Miss Grace Jones. <laughs> and the guy slammed the door in our faces and said, Ah, oh, F off. And we said, No, 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 no. We are personal friends of Miss Grace Jones. <laughs> and the guy slammed the door and said, I told you to F off. So me and my partner, Bernard Edwards, we went around the corner and we bought a couple of bottles of Dom Perignon, which we used to call rock and roll mouthwash in those days. Lovely. We That's drank. You've got some rock and roll mouthwash with you tonight. Just be careful where this story is <laughs> going. No, no, no. And we went to the apartment around the corner and we started singing, ah, F off. Do -do 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 -do. F Studio 54. F off. Do -do 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 -do. And then it changed to live. Freak. Uh, well, didn't quite. It actually went, ah, freak off. That stank. Oh, okay. And then we said, and then it evolved. wait a minute, how about that new dance that they're doing called The Freak? So we then changed it to, ah, freak out. And the world Which could then prefer. hear it. Thank the Lord. Thank you, yes. <laughs> and, you know, it was two years before hip hop. We wouldn't have gotten it, you know, we wouldn't have gotten away with the original lyrics. So, so that's the story of that song. Uh, Paper Gods for you guys. Mm. That's uh, the new album. Yeah. Full of meaning for you? Um, well, yes. I mean, you know, it's a very important album for us because, you know, at this stage we felt we had to do something meaningful for ourselves more than anything else. And we took a long time to write it. We took a whole year kind of digging around for good stuff before we, before we finally hit the really rich scene. And, um, and yeah, Paper Gods is one of the tracks. It's, it's, it's about modern life. Um, everything is on the album is true and you know, there because of experience. And you guys are back working together for the first time in a long time. Yeah, yeah. You know, a long time on from the reflex. How is it now then, and how has that relationship changed and evolved over the years now? I think it's better. Well, we've got an amazing tour. I mean, mm -hmm. we've, been, we've, we've done Killing two it. legs of tours <laughs> yeah. around Killing America. It. And it really is, it's the greatest show yeah. in town. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, as Niall said, you know, people leave suffering from hit fatigue <laughs> because there's just... I, I, th I think <laughs> I coined that phrase, actually. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, Simon. <laughs> Doesn't value his own front man. <laughs> well, we look forward to that, Niall. And we have to say, we are sorry if anybody was offended by your naughty language. You can't have that at I just said F. I said no, 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 F. Please don't say it again. We, we're apologizing slightly for that, but we're also very thankful that you didn't tell the full story exactly. with the full vocabulary. Exactly. So, um, I didn't now, spell the other three no. letters swiftly on. Um, now then, boys, we're going to have to send you off because, of course, you are performing on the main stage very shortly and we'll be with you over there.